Hi everyone, I want to show you a fun new tool. It's called Desmos. So from um, any um, web browser, we're going to type in desmos.com, desmos.com. So that should um, take you to this page, and then we're going to click on Graphing Calculator. Once we do that, we're going to type in y equals ax squared. Now, if you don't know how to get the squared, um, you can hit the caret button and then 2, or you can also hit this menu here, and then you can select the squared button. So that's how to get the squared. Make sure you click back down so that you're not um, in the exponent anymore. We're going to keep typing plus bx plus c. Now it's asking us if we want to add a slider, and we do. We want to add a slider for a, b, and c, so let's click all. So notice this generates a quadratic function, which is uh, also called a parabola, right? The graph of a quadratic is called a parabola. So the fun thing, I think this is kind of fun, um, is that we can change the value of all three of these independently so that um, we can see how the graph behaves. So um, notice there's a little play button over here. So let's just hit play and see what happens as A advances. So you can see A changing from as it goes from positive 10 to negative 10 and back again. So let's um, pause that for a second. Um, you can also manually slide it. So the interesting change happens between negative A and then what happens when A is 0? Well, when A is 0, look at it, right? That means we don't have this squared term. We just have a linear term. So what do we have? Of course, we have a straight line. It makes sense, right? So when a is 0, we have a straight line. As soon as a becomes positive again, we have a parabola. Notice it's pointing upwards. Okay, as soon as we let a be negative, so again, as soon as it drops below 0, right, then the parabola is pointing downwards, and the larger uh, the negative value is, the um, narrower that parabola is. Okay, so let's just take him back to 1. Um, and then we can mess with B. Now, B doesn't really, it's, it's kind of strange. It, it sort of indirectly changes the location of the vertex. So there's not much I really want you to um, figure out or understand from B. The, the main uh, salient points are A and C. So let's just put B back at 1. Um, doesn't really matter where he is. So the other thing that we can see directly um, that changes um, as we move it is C. So let's just hit the play button because that's kind of fun. Right, so what's happening to our parabola? Well, it just looks like it's moving up and down. So remember C, right, C is actually the way we wrote it. This is our y-intercept. So in, right now, right, my C is 1.08. You see my y-intercept where this red line is hitting the vertical axis or the y-axis is 1.08, okay? And so I can drag it wherever I want. So for example, when C is zero, Right, that means that this parabola is crossing at the origin. Um, when c is negative three, right, this parabola is crossing down at negative three. Okay, and then of course as it goes up, and then I can't see it anymore. Um, so you can do one of two things: you can zoom out, okay, um, or you can kind of drag the screen around. So it's kind of fun to play with, um, but I just think this is a really fun, interesting activity. So um, probably just watching this video is enough to fill out that. Um, the form in your guided notes. But again, if you want to go to Desmos on your own um, and play around with this, um, you know, watch the videos or, um, you know, change the sliders yourself manually and see what happens to the graph, you can definitely do that.